to find the Fokker before he fucking runs off!
Who the fuck? Shaw, meet Knuckles. What was that? That noise? Hey, guys, what is it down there? Tough shit. Huh? What is that noise? I'm sure. Well, I guess I have to cut down on that bullet. He's there. I don't think this opens. You motherfucker!
What the fuck? I'll just keep my head down for now. Looks like nothing in the end. out. <laughs> I give up. No, I, I see you are serious people going about your business. So I, I won't give you any trouble anymore. Ed, Sam here. Sniper neutralized. Great job, Sam. Get down to the gantry. I'll pick you up from there. So, did he give you any trouble? Nikakik problem. Ed, who were those guys? Ah, these are the bandits I told you about. They came to make a profit by robbing our settlement at the dock, but it didn't pan out. 
I must give credit where credit is due. That bastard Tom did bolster the defenses all right. These losers have long since stopped raiding. A few years back, they made one last attempt. Klim gave them a lesson. They were so terrified, they didn't even cut down bodies of their hanged pals all over the ruins. They couldn't raid and didn't have a place to go. So they turned to trapping. They catch mutants in the ruins. Those human-like ones. Their beasts are dumb and shrewd, but strong. Quite good for dragging carts or boats on the rivers, turning wheels and stuff. They don't eat much either, so using them lets you save a bunch of fuel. So the bandits catch them, train them a little, and then sell them off to traders. Those come from the south a couple of times a month. They pay in weapons, ammo, rice, all the things you need for a decent life in the wild. <laughs> They visit the settlement too, mostly buying restored generators, engines, and other machines. Our maintenance guys are real wizards after all. Oh, and dried fish too. So that's the region's economy in a nutshell. <laughs> Why did those trappers shoot at us? The whole city is divided between them. It took a lot of fighting to define those borders. So now they open fire at anyone approaching without proper insignia. Got it. Turf Wars, the primeval edition. Ha 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 You got it. All right, we're here, son. <laughs> Let's move this thing and I'll show you my backup base. Cool. So, care to tell me the essence of Tom's offer? It's simple. He offers to leave you the settlement along with everyone who won't follow him. How generous. And what does he want? He wants you to deliver fuel rods for the submarine. <laughs> Come on in, sir. Don't worry, the lift's fine. My friends and I took our time preparing this base. There's a generator on the roof. The staircase is just an emergency exit. Too many foglies in the lower floors. So the lift's no luxury. Just have to keep that generator going. So, the guys didn't get caught back then, after all. Or if they did, they wouldn't talk. What guys? When Tom had shown his true colors, my closest friends and I decided to refuel the soul and take her to sea. The plan was strictly need to know. Only Alex, my XO, and Alex Second, the torpedo officer, and Volodya, the life support guy were in. They left to recon the field and stayed in contact for two weeks. They found the fuel. And we arranged for me to pick them up in the night. But it was Klim's people who met me there. I barely escaped. Do you think they were captured? I don't know. But seeing Klim's people there was hardly a coincidence. Yeah. And we're there. Come on in, son. Make yourself at home, son. Take a rest. There's a storm outside anyway. Tell me, Sam, what's your angle in all this mess? I just want to go home, Ed. Nothing more. And Tom said he'd give me a lift. Before starting the nuclear war all over again. Or after. Sam, the sob is a terrible weapon. A weapon that was entrusted to me to protect my country. Not to be used in pirate raids, or even something as noble as creating the kingdom of heaven on Earth. Can you see that? <laughs> I didn't use it in the last war. So could anybody have any right to use it in any capacity now? When we're barely surviving after that one. Ed, Tom is a reasonable man. I don't think he'd go so far as... Tom is, first and foremost, a businessman. 
and he will get what he wants, one way or another. Can't you see that his offer to let those who wouldn't follow him go is a threat? What is going to happen to them should I choose not to bring him the fuel? I think you're being too negative here, really. Okay, let's do it this way. I ring him up, you talk to him directly. Fine by me. Tom, Sam here. The captain agrees to talk. Perfect, Edward. I'll be brief. I need those fuel rods, and you know that. You want your settlement, your people, and your power back. And I'm ready to offer you just that. As soon as those reactors are refueled, my people and I will leave and never bother you again. You don't believe I'll never use the nukes, but you'll just have to take my word on that. You know I can keep it. You've kept it so far, if we stretch the definition. But that's besides the point. Even if I believe you, I don't believe Klim. Did he tell you the free bandits are working for him? What makes you say so? I have no proof. But the friends I left with went missing. Did he tell you anything about them? He said he was looking for them. I had my doubts for quite some time already. And now they're solidifying. Bolivar cannot carry double any longer. Once the fuel is here, Klim will be taken care of. Anything else? No, just that. We do, Tom. I know I'm going to regret this, but we do. You won't. A deal is a deal, Edward. See you soon. Thank you for trusting him. Sam, I don't trust him. Not even for a second. No matter what he says, I can't trust him. But... But you have no choice. Exactly. I really don't have a choice here. The generator's out again. Let's go check it. Oh, shit! Before we go, let's do something about my knee. It is swelling up already. Sure thing, Ed. Do you have anything for the pain? I don't drink, really, but I do have a crate of Molotovs. Their moonshine and fish oil should do the trick. I wish we had some food to chase the drink down with, though. Here. Wow, that's a nice surprise. All right, no point in putting it off any longer now. Cheers. <sighs> Not so bad. <laughs> Here, you have some too. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Uh, come on. Let's get it done. I'm ready. Pull it hard. Hold on to your hat. Oh, you said it. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't think it worked. Let me catch my breath. And get one for yourself, too. Cheers. <coughs> oh, still awful. Okay. Pull again. Put your back into it. All right. Pulling. Damn. That was awful. Thanks for the leg. I feel better already. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, 
I say, let's not go anywhere tonight. Mm. Not oh. bad at all. Okay, let's go check the generator. Are you sure? When my Axel bursts seen and shouts, where the hell is my dead machine? I think I got this. Pull that lever, Sam. Shit, I ain't got it. Huh? You hear that? What? The music? Had we had some music? Amen to that. Hey, you! What the? Okay, let me fix this. I definitely got it now. Start it, Sam. <laughs> now I got this. Let them be right. <laughs> Wait. Uh, what's the. Ed! By the way, care to tell me your story? Are you sure? Come on, Sam. Unwind. Sure. Why not? When we buried the Colonel, I just knew I had to leave. I just knew Dad he was waiting. Thanks for telling me, Sam. We were on the ropes by then, and had to take the deal. And that bastard wants to save the world? Bah! He's going to become a pirate with nukes, and that's it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think it's quite like that. He has... ideas. <laughs> ah! I'm king of the world! <clears throat> oh, good. I'm telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. He's not a madman, Ed. I know, but still, ah, to hell with him. Let's drink. <sighs> Come on, sir. <laughs> I'm telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy, but you lack respect. Respect of your elders. <laughs> ah, and I mean, why aren't you drinking? Hey, Ed! Yeah. <clears throat> I'm here! You are there too? Weird. Ah, I need a drink. <laughs> oh, this is good! <laughs> mm. Not bad at all. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> now that's what I call a party. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking. You're not blind, you're sleeping face down. And stop shouting. Oh, my head. Oh. <laughs> oh, my head. That's why I don't drink. Oh. Oh. 
It's terrible. But I feel better now. <sighs> Here, finish this. It will help a bit. Okay, if you say so. <clears throat> <sighs> okay, while you're recovering, let's go back to the conversation we had yesterday. I do know where that fuel is, and it's not even that far. In an underground submarine base. The tunnels are half flooded, but still accessible. The entrance is in the Naval HQ building. Radiation's off the charts there, though. So I wouldn't even try without a protective suit. This building used to be a fire department, and I know they had some suits in case of an accident with one of the subs. Now the place is overrun by bandits, so it's not going to be a walk in the park, I guess. Think you can handle it? Okay. I guess some fresh air will do me good. I'll go get those suits. Thank you, Sam. I'll be getting ready here, too. Oh. You should take the stairs, down there and through the door. Oh, I almost forgot. While going downstairs, could you reload the traps? The mutants do visit this place from time to time. I'll try to, Ed. There's one Molotov left. Take it. There are many dead bandits on the lower floors. You should have the materials for more if you need any. Same opening. Sam here. One trap rearmed. The second one. Three left.
Nope, can't open it. Bet there's nothing good inside anyway.
Third trap armed. Two left. Just one trap left now. Nice. Kedica.
Ed, it's Sam again. So gotovo. All traps re on. Pajarista, Ed. Anyone's coming to avenge these jokers. Hmm. <laughs> 